Okay, today we are going to talk about the uh, one-shot timer, which is a basic element uh, used in a lot of uh, things in FPGA. Um, so functionality-wise, a uh, one-shot timer uh, essentially uh, turns your short duration pause, uh, like this enable eye, uh, into a wider duration pause, like this start conversion eye. So if we zoom in a little bit, we can see that this is our 100 megahertz main clock. Um, and this uh, one clock pause means that the duration of this short port is essentially 10 nanosecond. Um, and a lot of times, uh, what we want to achieve is that uh, whenever we see this short duration pause, we want to turn it into a wider duration pause uh, like this start conversion I. Uh, in this case, you know, this start conversion I is uh, actually 50, 50 nanosecond, um, essentially means that uh, uh, we turned one clock pulse into like a pulse that is um, five such clock um, clocks. So uh, in terms of application, um, you know, uh, we are doing, uh, uh, we are in trying to interfacing a uh, DAC, a DAC equipment. So we have to write a uh, one shot timer uh, to generate this start conversion signal. This essentially will tell uh, uh, the device that we want to transmit, start converting, um, you know, the digital, uh, digital value into analog value. So, um, Using one example, uh, essentially, uh, you know, our data in here is uh, 207. And uh, 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 this start duration pause is uh, kind of indicating to the device that uh, we want to start transmitting uh, this 207, uh, as, you know, this digital value to analog. Uh, so you see that this line got uh, essentially uh, port to low, and then uh, it starts to transmit uh, bits. If we zoom out a little bit, we can see that this enable I uh, happens uh, essentially once in a while. Um, and every time this enable I happens, the, the one shot uh, convert, converted it to a wider duration. And uh, we uh, kind of zoomed in there, um, and then uh, here, it, uh, you know, we are using a SPI protocol. So um, uh, the the two zero seven is uh, shifted out bits by bits. Uh, what I mean by that is uh, essentially, if we zoom in uh, again, we can see that um, here at this moment, you know, we we got one. Uh, one shot that that is triggering the start, uh, uh, you know, sampling, and then this uh, sync line got pulled to low, uh, and then at this moment, this two zero seven starts being shifting out, and uh, uh, if you read the manual of that, uh, you know, deck, um, essentially uh, we are shifting out sixteen bits. It's a twelve bit stack, so the beginning four bits is reserved for, uh, you know, control signal or whatever. Uh, we don't care. Uh, at this moment, uh, you can see that our one shot duration trigger uh, in, uh, starting the tra transmitting, um, and then that uh, ADC is actually operating on the uh, twenty five megahertz clock. Um, so what we see here is essentially. Um, if we do a little bit um, analysis here, um, what what it is is essentially, um, you know, at this rising edge, when we look at the uh, D1 bit out, it is a uh, zero. And, and actually zero here. Uh, and then when we look at here, it is another zero. And then this is another zero and another zero. 
um, another zero, another zero, another zero, um, and here we have a one. Um, actually, this is a zero. Sorry. So this is a zero. This is a land with that edge. So this is a zero, and then here is a one. Um, here is a one. So one one, and then here is uh, another zero. Here another zero, and then uh, you know this is a one rising edge. This is a one. No, this is a one, and here there, there is a one again. So we can see that on this line we are transmitting uh, bits by bits. Uh, essentially, it's a one one MSB first, so it's one one zero zero one 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 one. Uh, if we pull up the calculator, right, um, and look at what is uh, two zero seven. Um, it is like uh, you know one one zero zero one 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 one. So uh, that's exactly what we are transmitting out is you know one one zero zero one 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 one. Um, so again, I just want to show you an application of where this start conversion, this one shot could be used for is uh, you know this whole uh, block. Um, you know, is operating, um, is operating with the uh, 25 megahertz uh, uh, clock frequency. Although this size 50, but internally it divided it into uh, 25 a clock divider divided it into 25 megahertz. So, um, uh, so really, our clock pulse here needs to be uh, at least, uh, you know, so the start conversion at least needs to be. Uh, uh, one clock cycle in terms of a uh, 25 megahertz clock at least to be that wide otherwise um, you know it cannot trigger the transmitting um, I can show you an example essentially let's go to the test bench so uh, here I have uh, my code that generated this enable I and and then this enable I is passed into my one shot timer uh, which converted to uh, start I is a, du a wider duration, um, and then in, if we look at this one shot timer, uh, essentially I have a, a parameter defined as four clock cycle, um, and and then um, I think I think um, essentially what it does is that uh, whenever it sees the input uh, enable I to be one, uh, it will uh, default the counter into the delay uh, cycles and then um, uh, start from there uh, it will essentially I think I made a mistake this should be minus one um, but um, okay we can rerun the simulation again okay, that will just change your uh, pause from 50 nanosecond to 40 nanosecond uh, but uh, the logic is that uh, whenever we see this one is high uh, uh, when there's rising edge clock we uh, default the counter to a delayed va cycle value that's specified by you and then uh, we pull the output enable to one and then uh, whenever uh, this you know essentially this uh, enable signal of uh, goes from one to zero um, then that uh, that timer will start uh, counting towards zero um, and uh, at the time that it counting towards zero the uh, output will be hold uh, uh, as, as high and when the timer goes to zero um, the um, uh, output will be pull low so really you have the choice to specify how long this duration um, needs to be by Putting you know uh, numbers here for defining delay cycles. 
as what I said, I made a simple mistake that I should put in minus one here. But um, at this moment, I want to actually show you what if we don't use uh, this one shot, what will happen. So uh, if we essentially uh, comment, comment this out, right? Um, and then um, instead of using uh, this enable I, let's put the um, start conversion I here. So there is no one shot. There is uh, just a, tight, a needle pause uh, for one one clock cycle duration for clock 100 megahertz. So let's rerun the simulation. Start and let's run all. So this time we didn't use the enable I. That's why this line is, uh, you know, yellowed, uh, orange out. Um, but let's focus on the start I this time. And uh, here we this time we we saw. No beats is actually transmitting on our, you know, uh, this serial line. Um, and we can pause the simulation. Essentially, what is happening is you have this needle pause, start I, but because it's not long enough, so your device that is operating at a at a lower clock uh, frequency, which uh, this device is operating at, uh, you know, twenty five megahertz, as what I. Uh, mentioned before, 25 megahertz, it is not able to actually de detect your uh, pulse duration that is, uh, you know, uh, much shorter. So if we zoom in a little bit, right, um, we still have that 207 that we want to transmit out to the DAC to convert it to analog signal. However, uh, what what is happening is that you indicated, uh, um, I want to start conversion, but because your signal is too uh you know short it's only 10 nanosecond um this uh device that is operating at a, a slower clock it will not be able to detect that that's where uh you know one use case where we need the we actually need the one shot to uh convert this needle pause duration um uh, you know created by the 100 megahertz uh domain um you know we we can turn it into a wider pulse uh, to interface with a device that is uh, operating at a, a lower clock rate.